The invention of gunpowder in 9th century China revolutionized warfare, leading to the development of bullets and firearms. Initially, bullets were simple lead balls used in muskets and cannons, but over the centuries, technology evolved dramatically. Today, modern bullets are highly engineered for specific purposes, ranging from penetrating armor to minimizing collateral damage. This evolution from crude lead balls to sophisticated, precision-engineered projectiles reflects centuries of innovation in material science, chemistry, and aerodynamics. So, how are modern bullets made? The journey of a bullet begins with the selection of its core raw materials, primarily lead, copper, and sometimes steel or tungsten, depending on the bullet's intended use. Lead, with its high density and malleability, is often used for the inner core of the bullet, providing the necessary mass and deformability for impact. Copper, known for its durability and resistance to corrosion, is frequently used to encase the lead core in a jacket, enhancing the bullet's ability to penetrate targets while minimizing barrel wear. For armor-piercing rounds, harder materials like steel or tungsten are incorporated into the core to enable the bullet to breach protective barriers. Additionally, propellants, typically made from nitrocellulose or a combination of nitrocellulose and nitroglycerin, are chosen for their ability to rapidly combust, generating the gas pressure needed to propel the bullet forward. The primer, a small but critical component, is made from a mixture of chemicals that ignite the propellant upon being struck by the firing pin. This intricate selection of materials ensures that each bullet type is optimized for its specific function, whether for hunting, military engagement, or law enforcement applications. In the initial processing phase, raw materials are transformed into components ready for bullet assembly. Lead, used for the bullet core, is melted and cast into ingots before being extruded into wires or directly molded into specific shapes suited for various bullet types. This process ensures the lead has the desired density and malleability for effective performance upon impact. Copper, chosen for bullet jackets, is rolled into thin sheets and then cut and formed into cups. These cups are designed to encase the lead core, providing structural integrity and aiding in the bullet's aerodynamic efficiency. The thickness and shape of the copper jackets are carefully controlled to match specific bullet designs, optimizing for penetration and accuracy. For specialized bullets, such as those intended for armor piercing, materials like steel or tungsten are precisely machined into cores. This involves detailed shaping to achieve the exact dimensions necessary for penetrating hard targets. The propellant, crucial for propelling the bullet out of the firearm, is produced by chemically treating and stabilizing nitrocellulose. This process creates a powder that ignites and burns rapidly when sparked by the primer generating the gas pressure needed to launch the bullet. Primers, small but essential for igniting the propellant, are manufactured by mixing sensitive chemical compounds that react explosively to impact. These compounds are then pressed into small cups, ready to be integrated into the bullet casing. Through these meticulous initial processing steps, the fundamental components of a bullet are prepared with precision, ensuring they are ready for the subsequent stages of bullet manufacturing. The main manufacturing phase of bullets is where all the prepared components come together. It starts with the lead core being carefully inserted into the copper jacket. This is a precision task to ensure the bullet's performance for its intended use, such as accuracy or impact upon reaching the target. After the core and jacket are united, the bullet is then shaped to its specific design, whether it's pointed for aerodynamics or hollow point for controlled expansion. Following this, the assembly moves on to include the primer and propellant. Each casing receives a primer at its base, essential for igniting the propellant that will eventually propel the bullet forward. The correct quantity of propellant powder is then measured and added to the casing, a crucial step for achieving the desired velocity and pressure. The bullet, now fully formed, is pressed into the primed and filled casing. This process requires precision to ensure the bullet seats correctly affecting the ammunition's overall length and chambering. The final step in the assembly line involves crimping the casing around the bullet to secure it in place, ensuring it withstands the firing process without any movement within the casing. Quality checks are integral throughout this stage, with each bullet being inspected for consistency in weight, dimensions, and appearance. 
Samples from each batch are test-fired to verify performance against established criteria, such as velocity and accuracy. The culmination of the bullet manufacturing process arrives at the final packaging stage, where bullets are prepared for distribution. This step is as crucial as any in ensuring the product reaches the consumer in perfect condition. Each bullet, having passed rigorous quality checks, is sorted according to type and caliber, then carefully placed into boxes. These boxes are designed not only to protect the bullets during transport, but also to provide easy storage and access for the user. Information such as caliber, type, and quantity is clearly labeled on the packaging, ensuring transparency and ease of identification for consumers. For larger shipments, these individual boxes may be packed into crates or cartons, ready for shipment to retailers, law enforcement agencies, or military units. The packaging process, while the final step in the journey from raw material to finished product, is integral to the overall quality and customer satisfaction ensuring that each round is delivered safely and ready for use.